Hi, this is Shekhar. I completed my engineering from mechanical branch. After the completion of my engineering, I worked in different different manufacturing companies in pharma, surgical, chemical, and steel companies. And my career into SAP has started as a SAP core user. Then later on, I moved into the SAP ERP environment as a SAP logistics functional consultant. My total experience is 15 years of experience. Out of 15 years of experience, 10 years as a SAP functional consultant into the modules like SAP MM materials management, WM warehouse management, PP production planning and sales and distribution etc. In the today's session we are going to discuss about ERP about the ERP packages why ERP and objectives of the ERP about SAP and the origin of SAP yeah. so ERP so what is an ERP basically it stands for enterprise resource planning what is enterprise means a well-established organization or a company. When we take any organization, we need some sort of the resources to run the organization. For example, man, material, money, method, machinery, and time. These are the important resources to run any organization with proper planning, like purchase, production, quality, sales, maintenance, etc. So ERP is one part of IT segment in IT industry where people are working on this environment. Any company using the resources by planning to improve or to develop or to grow rapidly with planning of all the resources like people, machines, money, etc. For running any business applications in a business, in a company, is called an ERP. Coming to the ERP packages or ERP products, we have so many ERP packages or products available in the market. Out of which, these are the ERP packages available globally. SAP, Oracle, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, Bond, Microsoft Dynamics, Ramco, etc. Where SAP is the leader in the ERP environment. The objectives and the goals of the ERP. Whenever an organization is running the ERP applications, okay, so these are the advantages we are going to come across by using this ERP products to increase productivity, to reduce cost of production, to increase in performance, customer satisfaction, and quick ROI. So ROI is nothing but return on investment. Now we talk about our product SAP AG. SAP AG is an organization or a company which was founded by five people who are previously working in IBM company have started this organization in the year 1972 where the company headquartered in Waldorf in Germany. 
So SAP AG is purely a German based company and German based ERP product. Where it stands 10 out of the top 10 US companies with the highest market value uses SAP software. 8 of the top largest US corporations use SAP software. 8 of the top 10 highest profit US companies use SAP software. And more than 100,000 customers using SAP ERP in more than 120 countries globally. So what is SAP means? It stands for system application and products in a data processing. Always we're supposed to call it as a SAP. So it stands for system application and products in a data processing. It's called SAP. And AG stands for AG in Germany, which is similar to limited in India an incorporation or corporation in USA, UK, etc. Now these are the five people are the founders of SAP company and SAP ERP product. Dietmar Hopp, Hans Werner Hector, Klaus Wellenruther, Klaus Chira, Hasso Plattner. So these are the five people who came out of IBM company have started this company and the ERP product. Coming to the architecture of SAP. So we call it as a SAP R by 3. R stands for real time and 3 stands for 3 tier architecture. Where tire is nothing but scope of a computer or a system. First we have a single tire, means the standalone system, example PC, personal computer. Next two tire architecture, IBM mainframe system is called a two tire architecture, where it contains two layers, database layer and application layer. Next three tire architecture, the SAP R3 is a three tire architecture, it is divided into three layers, the presentation layer, graphical user interface, GUI application layer, web application and database layer, Oracle, DB2, Sybase, etc. So how this SAP is providing the solutions to the companies? This SAP, this SAP is divided into, this SAP ERP product is divided into two segments, technical and functional. We call it as a technical modules and we call it as a functional modules. These are different different technical modules what we have. ABAP, it stands for Advanced Business Application Programming, BASIS, Business Administration System Integrated Solution, BIBW, Business Information, Warehouse or Business Intelligence, XIPI, Exchange Infrastructure or Process Integration, MDN, Master Data Management, etc. So like this, we have different different flavors in technical modules. Now coming to the functional side, that is functional modules. When we take any organization, we'll have different different departments. Purchasing department, stores department, production department, sales department, financial department, risk accounting department, controlling department, maintenance department, quality department, administration department, projects department, safety department, etc, etc, etc. When you take any organization, we'll have different, different departments. Okay. So when you take all the departments of one organization, when we compare with our SAP ERP product, each department is supposed to be treated as one functional module. MM, it is management. WM, warehouse management. PP, production planning and control, SD, sales and distribution, financial and control, FICO, plant maintenance, PM, quality management, QM, HR, human resources, PS, project systems, EHS, environmental health and safety. Next we have new dimensional products in SAP, that is a functional models we are supposed to call it as 
SRM stands for Supplier Relationship Management, CRM Customer Relationship Management, APO Advanced Planning and Optimizer, EWM Extended Warehouse Management, BPC Business Process and Consolidations. So these are the next procedure modules, the modules what we have seen before. Next we have IS specific modules, IS stands for Industry Specific Products in SAP. IS stands for Industry Specific. Retail, oil and gas, utilities, healthcare, automotive, pharmaceutical, media, etc. Now coming to the versions in SAP, when this ERP product has been started, they started with the version 3.0, then upgraded to different different versions like 4.0, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7. ECC 6.0, then ECC 6.0, EHP 5 or EHP 6, where ECC stands for Enterprise Center Component and EHP stands for Enhanced Package. Now this is the SAP R3 installations by industry wise. Okay, so the percentage of the SAP ERP product which was used in the global world, worldwide, SAP Retail. SAP Pharmas and Chemicals, SAP Aerospace, Defense and Engineering Construction side, SAP High Technical, SAP Services and Transportation, SAP Manufacturing and Materials, SAP Telecom and Utilities, SAP Public Sector, Oil and Gas, Automotive, Banking, Media and Insurance. So this is a total SAP R3 enterprise client or server. So this is the architecture of the, the SAP, how it look like with the modules, sales and distribution, metis management, production planning and control, quality management, plant maintenance, human resources, financial accounting, controlling, project systems, industry solutions, etc. When we talk about the functional models. Now first basically before going to the functional we'll discuss about the logistics. Now what is logistics? So logistics comprises all the processes that are take place in any organization. So logistics will comprises all the departments or all the processes involved in any organization like purchasing, materials management, inventory management, warehousing, quality management, maintenance, sales, service management, etc. Yeah. Here we'll take the first functional model materials management. We call it as MM. So where this model will start and where it ends basically. This module deals about the requirement of identification of the materials. Once we identify the requirement of the material, we need to find out the source of supply or vendors available in the market. So as a buyer, we need to approach the suppliers, raising the quotations, select the selection of the vendor, then we create PO creations, then PO approval process takes place. Then the purchase order will be received by the vendor. Vendor send the material. Then finally the company will do the payment to the supplier. This total part comes under the purchasing activities comes under a model called materials management. PP production planning and control. So what this model does? So this tot PP model will deals about the planning activities depending upon the customer business and depending upon the customer requirement the planning will take place. So in PP module we have different types of plannings okay like reorder point planning, forecast based planning, time phase planning, independent requirement planning. So depending upon the customer requirement and the business process the production planning module or the PP module will 
do the activities and finally they will execute the finished component as per the customer requirement. Next SD sales and distribution. So what this module does then? So this module supports the sales and distribution activities how it takes place in any organization where the company is going to deliver the material on time delivery interacting with the customers and knowing the requirements of the customers based upon the customer requirement requirements will be gathered and taking the time and delivering the material on time dispatching sections shipping and loading all this comes under a model called sales and distribution and quality management QM stands for quality management what this model does for example I created a purchase order to the vendor the vendor has sent the material the moment when I receive the material from the vendor it will not use or it will not place directly into the stores first it will go to the quality department the quality assurance department will decide whether you want to accept the material whether you want to accept the inspection lot so the moment when you receive the stock of the material from the vendor inspection lot is generated from the quality management department so the quality management department will decide whether you want to accept or reject the the lot of that stock of the material so they will do some sort of the quality test or plannings or some sort of the quality measurements will be taken up all this comes under model called quality management plant maintenance PM stands for plant maintenance so what is this plant maintenance now when you take any organization we are supposed to use different different equipments or missionaries so we need to have some sort of the maintenance of these equipments or missionaries for example we have a machine called DG set DG stands for diesel generator where it generates a power okay so this equipment or this machine has to go for maintenance so in the industry we'll have different types of maintenance preventive maintenance annual maintenance breakdown maintenance and how to ensure availability of the operational systems in the plant okay suppose if the machine is got damage okay or the equipment has got some problem troubleshooting the problems that are faced by the equipment all this comes under a model called plant maintenance next finance FICO financial controlling so this total model deals about the payables accounts payables accounts receivables that is doing the payments to the vendors receiving the payments from the customer okay and controlling deals with the planning and control instruments for company-wide controlling systems okay capturing all the costs that are taking place in any organization all this comes under a model called financial and controlling services it provides highly services management integrated customer service and human resources the rules and response of this model is the personal administration looking after all the the human resources covering of all the personal management and help they simplify and speed the process of the time roll and pay management so like this the functional modules activities takes place in any organization and coming to the technical modules ABAP so it is a programming language in SAP it stands for advanced business and application programming basis so it stands for business administration system integrated solution so we're supposed to call it as a system administrator or network administrator now we discuss about the business process when we take any organization it may be mechanical automobile retail pharmaceutical chemical we have the procurement types and these procurement types are divided into two categories they are external procurement internal procurement 
So what is this external procurement and what is the internal procurement? Let's say for example, a customer is there, Alex or a company. Now they are in need of a material that is a finished material, D is a finished material. If I want to manufacture this finished material D, I need the raw materials A, B and C. When I have the stocks of the raw materials A, B and C, then I can produce, I can do the production of the material D. And here the customer requirement is 100,000 tons of the material per month. Therefore, the customer approaches a company, for example, XYZ. So customer company. The relationship between these two is sales order. What is a sales order? It's a legal document between a customer and company. When the company accepts the requirement given by the customer, we supposed to call it as a demand management or independent requirement. Now the company has accepted the requirement given by the customer. It means the company is ready to deliver the material what the customer needs. Now the company has to check the availability of the resources. It may be a material, manpower, equipments or machineries, etc. MRP. So what is MRP means? MRP stands for Material Requirement Planning. It's a planning tool. The abbreviation is Material Requirement Planning. Coming to the definition point of view, it contains information of inventory management data. What is inventory management data? Maintaining the stocks of the materials, that is raw materials. Next, bomb data. We call it as a bomb data. Bomb stands for bill of material data. And planning data. All put together we call it as a material requirement planning. And from here, it is divided into two sections. The first case is no stock available and the second case is stock available. So no stock available. What is the meaning of no stock available? So I have the excellent business order in my hands given by the customer. To execute it, I don't have the stocks of the raw materials. That is called no stock available. So what happens here? So here the planning will take place and the order is called planned order. Now the, here the company is in need of raw material. So purchase equation will be generated. We call it as a PR. So here the company is in need of material. So company has identified the requirement of the material. When we identify the requirement of the material, then only we approach to the source of supply. Nothing but source determination. Nothing but vendor. When we approach us to the suppliers, that approachment will be done in the form of quotation. It means the buyer will create quotations to the vendors. We call it as a RFQ. RFQ stands for request for quotation. So we'll send the RFQ to different different vendors. The suppliers, if they are ready to supply the material, they will get back to the quotation sent by the company. So the company will receive and maintain quotation for vendors. So what they maintain? They maintain the terms and conditions, warranty, services, etc. Then the price comparison for the RFQs takes place. So we'll do price comparison. Which vendor is giving for which price, etc. And finally we'll select the source of supply or vendor. Okay? Not only the price is taken into consideration, price quality, delivery and the service are the four impact important parameters or important information will be taken into consideration to select the supplier or vendor. Now finally, I know the material what I want to buy. I know the supplier from where I can buy. A relationship between the buyer and the supplier is called PO, that is purchase order. So purchase order is a legal document between a buyer and supplier. So purchase order creation takes place and if it has to go for approval, it will be approved by your manager, senior manager, whoever it may be, depending upon the organization hierarchy. Then purchase order confirmation takes place, follow up of the vendors. And finally, 
when we receive the material from the supplier GR is created GR stands for goods received with reference to purchase order so once we receive the material we'll receive invoice from the vendor so we'll verify the invoice and finally we'll do the payment to the supplier the moment the payment will comes the financial department will record the payment activities therefore this external procurement leads to a model called MM materials management we have the other name for MM that is purchase to pay or order to pay is the other names for the MM model we call it a P2P or O2P the second case is stock available so what is meaning of stock available so customer has given the order or customer has places the order and to execute it the company is having the stocks of the materials that is called stock available so here what happens planned order which is further converted to production order because the company is having the stocks of the raw materials and releasing the production order goods issue of the sub components with reference to production order so finally we confirm the production order and the company has executed the finished material the here also we create GR with reference to production order and finally the production order is technically completed then production order settlement takes place so we are going to compare the target and actual cost of the production and finally the material will be delivered to the customer where sales billing and sales invoice takes place customer will do the payment to the company so here the payment will come who will capture it the financial department so here the company is having the stocks of the raw materials so straight away the company plan for the production activities and they deliver the material what the customer needs this total procurement we call it as a internal procurement which leads to a model called PP so this is the overall business process flow how it takes place so coming from the materials management right from the raw, raw material procurement up to the accounts payable that is creation of purchase order goods received invoice received accounts payable which is done by the finance next the other end of the year MRP is if the company having the stocks of the raw materials then go for the planning production and finally the costing will take place which is done by the controlling when the finished material executed then the sales activities will come into the picture where the customer is where the company is going to deliver the material to the customers shipping loading unloading sections and billing will take place which is done by the finance business process so these are individually how the the flow of the business will take place this from the SD side and this is the overall the overview cycle of materials management so requirement identification source determination that is the vendor determinations vendor selections once vendor is selected purchase order creations and purchase order processing purchase order monitoring when we receive the material creation of the goods receipts finally doing the payment and the payment process will take place right from identifying of the requirement of the material up to payment to the vendor this total part comes under a model called materials management thanks for your wonderful time giving me an opportunity and giving me your valuable time to deliver the session that is the, we call it as a demo session or a demo class the presentation 
and coming to the content what we are going to discuss in our training program okay so what we are going to discuss in our training program so this is a SAP MM content introduction to the ERP organization structure different types of master data different types of purchasing documents document types for the purchasing documents approval process that is we call as a release procedure pricing procedure external services management how the services procurement will take place then optimize the purchasing inventory management what are the inventory management activities how it takes place physical inventory how the steps to be performed for the physical inventory process next we have special stocks and special procurement types like consignment stock transfer order subcontracting pipeline returnable transport packaging we call it as a RTP third-party processing then batch management how it takes place the batch management process how we are going to handle the materials in the form of batches next valuation and account determination the introduction to the material valuation and split valuation is a process how you are going to value the material into multiple prices next we'll discuss about the invoice verification and different types of invoices creations invoice for purchase order planned and unplanned delivery costs subsequent debit subsequent credit credit memo the blocking of the invoices the releasing of the blocking invoices GRIR clearing account stochastic block parking of the invoice documents so like this we are going to see the different different scenarios under invoice verification and next we have the important and important topics like integration concepts how this MM module is integrated with financial and controlling in sales and distribution production planning with warehouse management and next with quality management module so these are very very important topics how MM is integrated with other modules and we are going to see the technical requirements for MM like LSMW legacy system migration workbench okay how you are going to upload the data from non SAP environment to SAP environment then MM standard reports and what are the tables involved different types of tables involved in MM and general topics which are prerequisite so there is differences between implementation project support project upgrade and rollout projects gap analysis as is and to be documents then SAP system landscape SAP testing handling SAP tickets and the sample reserves okay